What's up Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny gameplay video. In this video we're going to be talking about the uh, sniping sort of setting in the Crucible since 2.0 has dropped. A lot of people asking a lot of questions regarding snipers in general and how they uh, play out here in uh, the post 2.0 meta of the Crucible. So we're going to try and hit some of that stuff. And uh, first and foremost, one of the things people are asking is, um, have, have sniper rifles been changed? They just feel different. And, uh, and that's a hard thing to quantify. And uh, I've seen a couple of posts on uh, Reddit and on Bungie.net where people are making claims that the overall uh, aim assist values on snipers has been dropped. Now, this, it, as far as I know at this point, has not been uh, corroborated by a... Um, any Bungie source or Activision or uh, any credible um, gaming news source. So uh, I, I can't say that that is in fact what has happened. Uh, we don't know that yet at, that, at this point as far as I'm aware. Uh, if you have that information somewhere uh, that's a credible source, please pass it on to me. I would love to see that. But uh, as of now, that hasn't been uh, confirmed to my knowledge by any credible source. So. Um, Here's my theory so far on why they might feel different, even if nothing has been changed. And uh, in general, I'm finding no difference. I'm still uh, landing my shots as, as I would expect to in these uh, maps that we've been playing on for a while. But where I feel my rhythm is a little bit off is when we get into these new maps, and I think that the main reason for that uh, is because um, because these maps are new to us at this point after playing these maps for uh, almost a week now I have a good feel for the maps themselves in terms of the layout but it's the uh, the actual angles and elevation changes those are the things that will throw off your sniping uh, considerably because you have a, a sort of uh, muscle memory attributed to these maps that we've played on for so long you know exactly the incline angles when you're looking up at a certain spot on a certain map you've aimed there dozens of times from that uh, spot that you're standing so you, in other words you, you're used to these elevation changes and the angles so to speak of these maps we've been playing for you know ever at this point but uh, these new maps we're not acclimated to them and so just learning to um, uh, have some memory in terms of the angles on the map and uh, elevation changes that once we start to get into a rhythm on these maps uh, we might see our um, our troubles sort of go away when it comes to aiming with our sniper rifles so that that could be why some people are feeling a little bit off at their sniping rhythm it could be that these new maps we're just not acclimated enough to them to sort of have ourselves trained to know uh, exactly where to aim we, we kind of uh, aim in just by sight not by instinct on these new maps because we're not you know we don't have our instincts up yet on these maps uh, so to speak uh, another thing that people have been talking about is the damage drop-off and that is definitely a thing I'm noticing that at further ranges uh, the damage values on my sniper are uh, dropping and um, I would say don't be concerned about this because for example uh, in in this gameplay in these videos uh, this video here, these clips that you're seeing, you're going to see that at some points my longbow, which normally does 417 damage to the head, you see it right there, even at that range, no damage drop off yet. And how often are you going to snipe something that's further than that away? Uh, honestly, it's rarely going to happen. And when it does, uh, fret not, because I found that even at the greatest range uh, on Skyshock, <laughs> see these big, wide open spaces, the most my damage ever dropped off uh, on a precision shot was 399 as opposed to the standard 417 and my body shot damage went from 167 to 161 now um, in other words that means you have nothing to be worried about because absolutely nothing is going to change it's not going to affect the way that these snipers play out at all uh, the only snipers that this might be a factor for would be the snipers with the lowest impact level and the highest uh, rates of fire but for those of you like me who prefer uh, snipers in this this class here, like the longbow, the LDR, the, the um, Shadow of Veils, uh, the Herb Benevolence, Avenue A, and even Efforted Spear, which is even higher impact, you're not going to notice a change uh, at all. And it's not going to actually affect this damage drop off, isn't going to affect the way the game plays out for you at all. You're going to be firing the same number of shots and putting them down in the same number of shots. 
Um, so the chances that it's going to change a firefight at all are slim to none. So don't worry about the damage drop off. Not going to be a factor unless you're using something like the uh, subtle nudge or something like that. Then it might play into it a little bit. But uh, if you're using the subtle nudge, you're probably not doing long range sniping anyways. You're probably doing uh, fast, uh, close range snipes. So uh, more or less, nothing to be concerned about. Uh, last thing that people have been asking about is res sniping, sniping people off of the revives. And I just did that uh, earlier in this clip here um, on Black Shield. And people are saying they feel like that the timing on that has changed. Like there's a smaller window for you to get that snipe. And some people are having trouble sniping off the revive. Now that's what I've been told by a couple different people. I myself have not experienced that whatsoever. Uh, I've never gone for a revive snipe yet since 2.0 has dropped and missed it. It's, it's felt no different to me at all. So I have not experienced that. I can't verify, but I also can't deny uh, that that's a, a change. Um, I think that ultimately some of these questions that we have, we're going to have to wait until we get some official word uh, from Bungie, some official response. Obviously that's not the first thing on their plate right now. They're probably more concerned about uh, the launch of Taken King and gathering data and stuff from uh, this past week that they've given us early access to some of this stuff, including the maps. So that's not really on the forefront of their mind right now. It's probably not even uh, very high on their list of priorities. So I wouldn't expect to get any information that's solid on the uh, sort of sniping climate in the Crucible post 2.0 uh, until maybe a few weeks after Taken King has officially launched. So for the time being, this is uh, what I got for you. Looking forward to covering uh, the new snipers that are coming out with the Taken King. Really excited. That's why I didn't cover any of the um, like the Amelon or Haka snipers that were uh, with the Gunsmith this week because they were just a, a quick preview, no skills or anything. We don't know if that's even how these guns are going to play out. So we'll wait until Taken King hits. We'll talk about these weapons further. Thanks guys so much. We'll catch you later.